to Modern Education Week 5. Our value of the month is still friendship as we are still in April. Today's lesson title is I Make New Friends. So today we are going to learn how we can make new friends. First, let's begin with the key vocabulary. So you are going to repeat after me. Today, there are some big words. So let's go slow and repeat after me. Inclusion. Once again, inclusion. Number two, influence. Let me go slower. Influence. And the last word we are learning today is conflict. So let's repeat the words one more time. Inclusion, influence, conflict. Wow, well done grade ones. Our learning outcomes for today is, we are going to choose ways to make new friends. Of course, we all want new friends. So let us learn how we are going to make new friends. And also, we are going to see how we can resolve conflict. Resolve conflict. Hmm, that's confusing, right? Let's get cracking. So our key vocabulary for today, like we said, is influence, inclusion, and conflict. Now let's look at these words deeper. Influence is the ability to change someone's mind or behavior, to think or act differently. That means if your friend Ahmed is not being a good boy, you can tell him he needs to be good and you can tell him the reason why without hurting his feelings. Inclusion, it means we need to involve everyone, regardless of differences. No matter how different people are, we should include them in everything that we do. And the last word is conflict. It's a serious disagreement or argument, meaning if you have a fight or you do not agree with someone, that is a conflict. So today, we are going to learn how we can solve this conflict. Let's begin. Making friends. Now, why do we need to make friends? I mean... Is it important? Of course it is important. We need to make friends because it develops life skills. It increases our confidence, meaning it makes us feel more confident about ourselves. And it can make us feel happier. If we do not have friends in school, would we be happy to go to school? Of course not. And lastly, to be more adventurous. Meaning, if we have friends that like to do things that are outside the box, we can join them and learn how to be adventurous. So, you can go on an exciting adventure. Now, let's look at different pictures and see what we can do to make friends. We're going to look at a few pictures and put a tick if that is the correct thing to make friends or if that is totally wrong. Play. Should we play with people in order to make new friends? If we go to the park, can we play with other children at the park and make friends with them? Yes, of course. Can you think of a time that you played with someone and became friends with them? Maybe in the school play area? 
I've seen many people become friends in school. If we take toys away from other people when we are playing with them, is that a way to make friends? Let's think about it. Hmm. While we are thinking about it, let's look at the next picture over here. If Fatima pulls Hala's hair, would Hala want to be friends with Fatima? No, 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 no. That is not how you make new friends. If we share our books or anything with someone, we can immediately become friends with them. It will show that sharing is caring and we care about the person. Should we listen to others? Yes, we should listen to everyone around us. That would make us a good friend and a new friend to others. So is sharing and listening a way to make new friends? Hmm, let's think about this. Yes, of course. It's important to share and to listen to people when you meet them. Who knows, that can become your best friend. If someone falls down in the play area, and even if you do not know them, you should help them. And you should use kind words and make them feel good when you are playing with them. Does this show a way to make new friends? Yes, well done. You are doing amazing. Now, let's have fun and make lots of new friends because now you know how to make new friends. Now we're moving on to our next outcome. How to resolve conflict. Resolve conflict. Let, let us break this down. Resolve means to settle or find a solution, meaning it's to help a certain problem. Conflict. We have discussed this previously, a serious disagreement or argument. So if we put the two words together, it means that to find a solution to an argument or even a disagreement. To join pieces of the puzzle back together. I am showing you three pictures. Do you think this is suitable to resolve conflict? By shouting at each other? By beating each other? Or by pulling each other's hair? Let's think about this. First one. Shouting each other, is that a way to solve conflict? No, you should not shout. If you are angry, rather sit and be calm. Should you beat each other? Oh no, beating will hurt the next person. Girls, should you pull each other's hair? Never, that is not the way to resolve conflict. When you are in an argument with someone, remember these simple five steps. Stop. Stop. Take turns. Accept others' views. Listen and love. Now let's go in detail with each one. Stop. It means stop fighting, stop talking, and just stay still. Then you take turns. You first talk and say how you feel. And then you let your friend talk and listen to them and see how they feel. You accept others' views. So you listen to your friend and you accept what they say. 
you listen carefully without shouting. And then you discuss it and love each other. And those are the five simple steps to resolving conflict. Once again, remember, when you are in a fight, just stop. Stop, take turns, accept other views, listen, and love. This would make the world a better place. And that's all we want. We have come to the end of the lesson. Please remember you need to complete the assessment that is given to you. You need to write your name and your grade. I hope you learned how to make new friends the same way I did. Now I'm going to go and make lots of new friends after our entire situation in the world. Remember to stay safe and keep your social distance. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you all next week. Assalamu alaikum.